Hey guys, welcome to Rotorite. I'm Bubby FPV, and if you're new to FPV, you'll know that there are many different sizes of the drones. You can see we have one that fits in the palm of my hand. We have some that are even almost as big as me. And today we're gonna talk about each one and what their pros and cons are, and which one is right for you. All right, so the first drone class that I'm going to be talking about is the 35 millimeter class. So you'll see a couple of variants of drones with this size propeller. You'll see some like this where they have no propeller guards and all the propellers are exposed. And you'll also see some that have propeller guards, which basically means there's little circles around the propellers to protect anything that the drone crashes into. Personally, I like the ones without propeller guards because I think they have a little bit more performance. So this size drone is really good for doing freestyle indoors. So if it's really cold outside or if you just don't feel like going to a fly spot, pick up one of these and you can do all of the freestyle tricks you want around your house. You can do, you can power loop your table, you can split desk your chairs, you can trippy spin, whatever vertical structure you have in your house. This drone is really awesome for just all indoor freestyle. If we're looking at flight time, you're gonna be getting anywhere from two to three minutes depending on how aggressively you're flying. So if you're just cruising, you know, exploring your house, you're gonna be getting closer to three minutes, but if you're boom, ripping, doing all the freestyle maneuvers, or if you're racing, you're gonna be getting closer to two minutes. So not the longest flight time in the world, but honestly, in my opinion, I find for freestyle, that's a decent amount of flight time because usually I crash, I crash before the two to three minutes are over. So if you're looking for something to fly strictly indoors and just you know rip up your house or like an indoor warehouse you guys might have access to, the 35 millimeter size class is my favorite. This one, I'm a little biased, is the Bobito. I designed it, it's all carbon fiber, so this one in particular is very durable. I've dropped this thing from like 100 feet from the sky at Rampage onto basically concrete and it survived it. So 35 millimeter class, super small. We're gonna put this right here. And if we move up to the next class, we have the 40 millimeter propeller class, which you might be thinking, that's not really that much bigger, but in terms of flight characteristics, I think it really is. This drone right here that we have is the Vision 40. 40 standing for 40 millimeter diameter propeller. And this drone is really good for doing a lot of the indoor freestyle stuff that the 35 millimeter could as well. But this is really special because you can also go outside. So this is really versatile in my opinion. If you wanna you know, be flowing around some trees in your front yard or backyard, and then you wanna rip inside and power loop a chair or split as a table, I think this, is, this drone's really good for that. You'll also notice that this drone in particular has propeller guards, which are these circles around the propeller, propeller guards, guarding the propeller. So if you're to crash this thing into your head, or if you have pets or children in the house, um, it's not going to do as much damage as like an open prop drone would. So this drone is great for flying, you know, front yard or inside, and I think this drone's really versatile. Now, if we're looking at flight time, this drone takes a 450 milliamp hour one cell battery. So you're gonna be getting anywhere from three to five minutes, once again, depending on how aggressively you're flying it. Honestly, if you're flying indoors, you're going to be using a lot less throttle, so you'll probably get closer to five minutes. But if you're outside, you know, maybe fighting some wind, getting up there to throttle a little bit more, you're gonna be you know, getting closer to three minutes. So this Vision 40 that we sell is actually a really great platform because this has HD on it. So the 35 millimeter drone, this uses an analog video system. So the video is going to be very like, very low quality, like 480p, but with this one, you can get all the way up to 1080p and it's really crisp and clear. And the reason that you can get that nice HD quality is because the propeller size is a little bit bigger. So it can handle a little bit extra weight of the HD VTX. So what we have on here is the Wax Snail Avatar system. I use this on even some bigger drones, so just to be able to have that really nice, crisp, clear video on this size drone is really nice. If you are new to FPV and you're looking for a first drone, honestly, I think that the 40 millimeter propeller class is one of the best classes to get because let's say you're starting on the simulator, you just continue flying from right sitting on your couch. And what I really like about this drone is that it's very stable. I don't know exactly why, but this, this drone in particular, this platform is just very stable in the air and it's a very good drone to learn on. Also, it's very durable. So in the beginning, you are gonna be crashing a lot. So, I mean, I, I'm not gonna throw it, I'd feel bad if I actually threw it, but this drone's very durable to learn on. So honestly, out of all the drones I'm gonna be talking about, I think a 40 millimeter propeller size is the best size to start on. The next size drone that we have is the three inch, or this is called the Cinewoop, and you, let's see if you can guess why it's called Cinewoop. So this drone is great if you're trying to get cinematic shots around people, because with this drone, as you can see, it has prop guards, so you're not gonna be cutting any people. I mean, obviously, it's not gonna be fun to get hit by any any drone, but this one will reduce any chances of someone getting cut. So it is called Whoop, which usually we fly Whoops indoors, but what's really nice about this drone is that it has a three-inch diameter propeller, so, so it does have a lot more like 
thrust. So you can fly this drone outside pretty easily. I mean, if you guys have heard of Jaybird Films, he is an awesome cinematic FPV pilot. And this is a drone that he mostly uses for all of his shoots. If you're looking to start getting into FPV work, this is honestly the first drone that I would pick up. I have done, I'd say about 90% of my FPV work using a Cinewoop style drone. So this drone in particular is the Skylight by Ladrib, and it's just a really great flying Cinewoop tuned by Tyler Crane, who is our master tuner here at Rotoriot. So one thing that's really different about this drone versus the other smaller drones that you've seen is it can carry a GoPro or an action camera. So basically what you do is you, know, you fly the Cinewoop looking through the FPV camera on the bottom, and you put a GoPro on top, and the GoPro is what captures the really nice cinematic quality footage that you want for you know yourself or if you have a client. So the flight time that you're gonna be getting with this drone is anywhere from three to five minutes. And honestly, I'd say the biggest factor Expect that changes how long the battery lasts is fighting the wind would be the biggest thing for this because you have the big propeller gods in here that catch a lot of the wind. So I'd say anywhere from three to five minutes is what you can expect with one of these Cinewoops. I mean, this thing can definitely freestyle, but that's not really what it's meant for. Yeah, so the three inch Cinewoop class is great for any cinematic job that you need, proximity to people or outdoors. Now we're going to move up to half an inch class. So this is the 3.5 inch class. This is actually still the skylight, but what's really awesome about this drone is you can remove the propeller guards and fit a little bit bigger propeller. If you want to fly outdoors, you know, at a park or something, this drone has a lot of power. This drone can go like 60, 70 miles an hour, even though it's still so small. And it's just a really fun drone to fly around. What's really nice about this drone is that it's a lot quieter than some of the bigger drones. So like I said, if you're flying at a park and there's people around, it's much less intimidating to you know, see in the air. If you're going to be doing freestyle with this thing, you're not typically gonna be carrying a GoPro. It can carry a GoPro, but what we do is we just fly the HD system in the back and you can just use the DVR from your goggles to share with the world your footage. Now, if we're talking about flight time with this drone, this one's a little bit longer. I think you can get anywhere from like four to six minutes of flight time. Once again, always depending on how aggressively you're flying. So if you're racing, you know, you're gonna be getting really short battery life. But if you're just cruising around, you'll definitely be getting, you know, closer to five to six minutes. And that's just because of how light the drone is and how big the propeller size is. So I mean, 3.5 inches is pretty significant and it's just really efficient when you have a big propeller surface and a lightweight drone. So yeah, this 3.5 inch class is great for flying around parks or just anywhere that you just wanna kinda, kinda fly incognito a little bit. All right, so now we're moving up into some bigger drones. This is the five inch freestyle class. And this is a drone that you'll see most people flying. This is a drone that I do most of my freestyle flying with just because it's a really good power to weight ratio. And something else that's really nice about this size class is you can carry a full size GoPro with no problem. You can still be hitting speeds of 99.9 .9 miles an hour with a full size GoPro. And this drone is great for basically any type of flying that you want that I, that's like not you know too close to people. So if you want to go to an abandoned building and just zoom down the hallways, or if you want to go power loop some 100 foot trees, this drone is really great for it. If you want to get into some more cinematic chasing, this, this platform is really my favorite because it's so agile and so maneuverable. So let's say you're chasing some awesome drift cars. You want to be on one side of it and pop over this drone is really great for that, just because of the speeds you can hit and also how maneuverable it is. So this one that I have here in particular is the Tank by Let's Fly RC. So, I mean, the name Tank means that it's super durable. So, I mean, I don't know if you've watched our episode, how much G-Force can this drone pull? We went up like 70 feet and just full throttled this thing into concrete and it, it only broke very small. Like it was still completely perfectly fine. So in terms of flat times for these freestyle five inch drones, you can expect anywhere from three to six minutes. Once again, just depending on how you're flying here, you know, how much wind is there, and also how heavy your setup is. You know, if you were to have an action camera, the GoPro, which weighs about 200 grams, you know, you're gonna be closer to three minutes of flight time. But if you take that off, you know, your drone's gonna be significantly lighter. So you can get, you know, six, even seven minutes of flight time with this drone. So the five inch class drone is really great for freestyle and any action cinematic shots that you want. All right, so now we are moving to the biggest size drone we sell, which is the seven inch, seven inch diameter propellers. I mean, the propeller is almost as big as my face. And this drone is really special because this drone, you can put a, a big battery on there and you can get like 15 to 20 minutes of battery life on this drone. That's once again, because of the bigger propeller size, just making the whole drone very efficient. So you can carry a full size GoPro. And if you put like a lithium ion battery on here, you can get like 15 to 20 minutes of battery life. And this drone is really good if you're trying to do long range, which long range is basically where you fly as far as you can within visual line of sight. And I've seen people get 
upwards of like three to five miles out from themselves. So you gotta fly that far out and that far back. And that's just because this drone is super efficient, really long battery life. So while the really long battery life is really nice, um, this thing is, is really big. As you can see, it's like way bigger than my face. So, so you're not gonna wanna fly this like anywhere near people just because this thing is pretty loud once you're getting up high in throttle. And it's a little bit scary to be flying around people. And also it's just the most dangerous class out of all of these because these blades are just huge spinning knives. If you live somewhere like Colorado and you just wanna go do some mountain cruising, uh, this drone is honestly perfect for stuff like that because you're not gonna be flying around people and also you have the really long battery life to, you know, to get all the way to the top of the mountain and all the way back. All right, so that's a wrap on basically all of the major drone classes, all the way from the smallest to the largest. Let me know in the comments below which one you think is right for you. I mean, if you're new to FPV and you're just watching this for the first time, like, which one do you think would suit you best? You know, are you gonna be wanna flying the Vision 40 inside, or are you gonna wanna do mountain cruising with the CL2 XR? If you guys wanna buy any of these drones, we sell all of them in either DIY kits, or if you want us to build them for you and set them up, we also sell built and tuned drones. So we build all of the drones here on our warehouse in Orlando and we test fly every single one to make sure that the drone flies great once it gets to your door. All you have to do is bind it to your radio and pair it to your goggles. Or if you don't have radio or goggles, we sell completely ready to fly kits with everything you need. So you can get drone, batteries, charger, radio, and goggles all in one kit, all in one purchase. If you guys are looking for anything like that, we still at our store, Rotorite, link in description. We'll have links to all of these different drones that we talked about today. If there's any other questions you guys have about you know each different class drone, once again, drop it down in the comments below. I think that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching this episode of Rotorite. I'm Bobby FPV. We'll see you next time.